Hi everyone and welcome for this new tutorial about the HeroQuest project and today we are going to paint the kind of human fish into the box and uh, I'm going to enjoy painting this in three different levels uh, for the beginner with some simple quick step with speed paint for the middle I'm going to push a little bit more the level just with my brush and at the end we are going to paint in uh, some different way by using brush, airbrush and mixing all to have something the best we can. I really hope you are going to enjoy this tutorial. Remember to like this video and comment if you have any question or just to give me your feedback. Always you can support me on Patreon. Uh, remember to have access to more content and to help me developing my channel. So, let's go for the tutorial. So, I just start by prime everything in white. And after I'm going to apply two different speed paints, the plasmatic bolts, and after that the magic blue. And I'm going to try to push the magic blue uh, at the end of every part of my creature, just to push um, some bestial effects on the mini. So that will be the first time I try to use um, this uh, method directly with some speed paint, so we can see, we are going to see if that work or not. So remember, it's always better. So I have some paper, some glass paper, um, but the best way when you use some ink, it's to have some part in plastic or metal to uh, put your ink, uh, because now the ink is, um, is going to be um, dry pretty quickly more than if I use some plastic or metal surfaces to uh, put my paint before I apply on the miniatures. So I change my palettes uh, by a metallic one so the paint uh, will be um, more um, fresh more longer and now I'm going to apply uh, on all the ends of uh, the different parts of my paint some magic blue to create uh, some um, uh, de uh, degradee in, uh, in fresh part so it's going to make some transition more quickly more easily that can be a pretty uh, useful techniques so when you use these kind of methods, uh, you need to remember, you need to apply the new paints uh, um, during the time the previous paint is already wet. So it's going to mix um, between both of them at uh, the extremity right here. And that's going to create your transition in the best way you can. Sometimes the Minis uh, from Air Request is a little bit to some kind of um, oil. It seems very weird and the paint is not necessarily going to be fixed very quickly. So I don't hesitate to apply um, very strongly and make it again if necessary. So when the paint is totally dry, I can continue the next step. Just before, I'm going to show you how I remove um, the plastic uh, when it's uh, a little bit uh, strange and not right away. So I'm going to use a hair dryer and after I'm going to apply. And when it's very, very hot, uh, I'm going to move and fix this movement just to have something totally clean. So now I'm going to apply on all the metallic parts of some golem to have some um, classic base to do some copper effect. So 
So just for you as a reminder, uh, when you apply some speed paint or some kind of contrast paint, you need to apply in uh, the most strong way to um, reach all the different surfaces in one or two steps, no more, just to be sure the, um, the layer will be totally clean and enough, uh, enough strong that uh, you don't have to come back on later. When I do some mistake, I just come back with a pretty uh, clean uh, brush and just with some few water and I try to remove a little bit like that. So now I'm going to come back with hardened laser, uh, some speed paint color again, and I'm going to apply on all the different clothes. And by the way, at last I'm going just to apply some black on the eyes and on the base to have something pretty clean and ready to play. So I'm going to see that it's too similar uh, between my two different colors right here and I'm not a good lisibility so I'm going to later I'm going to wait that it will be totally dry and come back with one more layer with another color just to create a clear distinction between my armor and the different laser part. So I'm going to apply some black on the teeth and on the eyes and on the base just to finish that. So as uh, we see previously, uh, I'm not necessarily fan of this part because it's not necessary enough different so I'm going to use more dark wood on all the middle parts to create a clear dis distinction between my armor and the laser part and for that I'm going to just apply on all the miniatures remember when I paint miniatures for play I'm going to paint on all uh, the different sets or two or three miniatures just to have um, but you can apply my paint and let uh, it dry um, during all the process I'm going to apply on all the different miniatures and when I come back on the first one so the paint will be totally dry and I can continue painting on the first one so in that way I'm going to apply this dark wood on that and I will have finished the first step to have pretty uh, cool and pretty clean miniatures ready to play so i just come back on the first model just to have the same kind of color and something really really more dark to have some clear distinction between the leather and the different metallic part So here is the results after uh, the basing with the speed paint. It's ready to play, but for this uh, level two, we are going to push our highlight uh, on the different element. And I'm going to show you that step by step. So I'm going to start by um, highlighting all the flesh part and uh, because it's a more present um, element on the miniatures. And for that, I'm going to use this uh, color to pushing my highlight on every um, <clears throat> green part. So I check my brush into the bottle of water and after I take my paint and I'm going to apply this paint on every part we are going to take the more light. When I deal you my paint, I try to have something we are going to be to have the consistency of milk. So it's going to be not necessary 
very covering, but just enough to uh, let the preview step always visible, but enough to um, to cover just a little bit to push my highlight everywhere I want. Remember to use a lot uh, the side of your brush so you can push more easily on very large faces. Uh, by using your, the end of your brush only, you are going to let more um, line on your paint and you will need more time to apply on all the different surfaces. So remember to use a lot the side of your brush and push your color in the direction you want uh, the more color. So I'm going to do the same uh, on the different parts um, of flesh. Uh, and I'm going to use some turquoise uh, just to push my highlight on every blue part. So remember to have some consistency like milk. So we are going to push this highlight uh, on the blue part. After this first highlight, I'm going to apply a second highlight directly with white on different points of highlight on all the different uh, flesh parts, but only the part where we're going to take the more light. And by the way, um, I'm going to use uh, the white in the same way to highlight just a few um, the the black part, just to be sure to have some very clear and net highlight. Remember to focus on some few parts with your white so it's going to uh, pushing the eyes of people who are going to look your miniatures directly on the part you want. For example, right now I'm going to apply again and again on all the different uh, more highlight parts, but I'm going to focus on the middle of my miniatures just to be sure people is going to see first this part, the middle of my miniatures. You can always add some few points uh, on the um, end of uh, the end, but as you can see, it's going to be very, very some few points, nothing too strong. So remember, this is going just to highlight just a few, the eyes and the teeth. You can always put some points at the end, even on the <coughs> blue part of the mini. So remember to just put some few line and few points, no more. So now we are going to paint and pushing our highlight again, but this time on the copper part. And for that, I'm going to use some barbarian flesh. And after, just some few barbarian flesh and white to pushing our highlight. So remember when you do um, non-metallic metal to pushing a lot of light on the edges. That's going to create a strong contrast. We're going to give us this non-metallic metal effect uh, will be more real. So we continue by mixing some white uh, into our barbarian flesh. And we are going to push this on the 
uh, edges just to be sure to have very, very strong contrasts. I'm going to do the same later, just with pure white. The more we are going to paint, the less we are going to reach the faces. So now I'm just with some white. So now we just come back into the shadow with some dumbbell brown to finish this non-metallic metal in copper. By the way, we can always come back with some few black to pushing again a little bit more our contrast. Just to finish uh, this level two, I'm going to come back on the laser of the miniatures just with some flat earth from Prince August, just to pushing a little bit more highlight because this part is really, really dark. And that's going to be enough for this level two painting. So we can push just a few more highlight by adding a little bit of white and pushing on the different edges some few points of highlight on the laser. So we can repeat this process with a little bit more white if we want and a few more highlight on this laser. Can always stop before this step or just a little bit later if you want to add more highlight on the laser part. So for this third step, I'm going to use only my airbrush to uh, clean all the non-metallic metal parts uh, in copper with some barbarian flesh. I'm going to use these two colors for the um, flesh of my miniatures. And at the end, I'm going to use some desert yellow on all the different uh, laser on the mini. So I start by making my mix for my airbrush directly on my palette by mixing some acrylic thinner and my barbarian flesh color. And I'm going to put that directly in my airbrush. And now, as you can see, I continue to uh, clean my transition with my airbrush just by pushing my highlight a little bit more directly with my barbarian flesh. Remember to push some few layers and to make turn your minis in order to reach only the surfaces you want.
And now I'm going to do the same things with some toxic mists I already show you during the beginning of this tutorial. So this step is going to help us to clean the different surfaces to have something very, very more smooth. And now I'm going to do the same things with some ocean depth from um, Army Painter again. This color is just perfect to create the transition between the two different uh, colors of my skin. So now I'm going to make the same things on the leather with the desert yellow. I do the same things on the three different models, but I don't need to uh, refill my airbrush because it's not going to use a lot of paint. One last few steps with my airbrush is going to come with some black directly to push more contrast on some few elements. For example, I'm going to come on some few hands of some few elements and, by the way, on the non-metallic metal. So now we are going to add some uh, verdigris effects on all the copper part. For the verdigris effect, I'm going to add some layer of um, scaly green and adding step by step more ivory inside to create um, the verdigris effect. So we are going to push uh, this verdigris effect more into the different recesses and the part we are going to take less light, so parts we are going to see more uh, humidity. You can do different layer to have something more strong. As you can see, it's very diluted. So when my first layer is totally um, dry, I come back with a mix between a little bit of ivory and my green, and I'm going to tap my color to create my second layer. Remember to reduce the surfaces you are going to reach during this process to be sure to see always the previous step. So we are going to add a little bit more ivory again and in a, some very, very few parts, I'm going to tap again to create more contrast and more effect on this part. We are going to come back on the leather with some um, dark sea blue for the shadow and with some few ivory directly to create some texture on the leather. We are going to apply some very thin layer of dark sea blue, but the most important thing is to push it into the more strong shadow part and the very, very strong recesses to create our shadow effects. 
By the way, I can always use it to push between two different surfaces, like between the leather and the legs, for example. And now with my ivory, I'm going to create my different, more strong highlight. And by the way, I'm going to create some line from one side and another side, just to show the different texture, the life, uh, and the different damage uh, would take by this laser. These kind of methods can be pretty cool and pretty useful because uh, with some few lines and some few points you are going to give really really more life to your miniatures. If you don't find a way to make it in just one time, don't hesitate to make it and make it again. Just to step by step have some and more thin line uh, on your miniatures. So now we are going to use some red, some um, Evil Sun's Scarlet, and after that some Torsair Orange and probably just a few white to um, pushing some details on some few points. So I give you a lot my red. I'm going to push my layer on the different part I want to paint. And now I come back with some orange directly on the starfish and the coral. As you can see on the miniatures, I come back with my layer of red, uh, just a few on the membrane and under the eyes and into the mouth. So I will come back just with a few white into some red or directly I'm going to use directly some barbarian flesh that will be more easy, like that. Just to apply some few highlights on the membrane and into the mouth. So I really hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'm going to hope that you are going to apply this tutorial from your side. I'm going to show you for the next step the um, Chaos Warriors. There are three in uh, four in the box and I not necessarily really enjoy painting it, but I hope you are going to enjoy to see how I paint it. So, Let's go and see you very soon for the next tutorial. Bye-bye.